What is up, everybody, and welcome to Studio de Jeffrey with the very latest on the Dallas Cowboys. If you haven't seen it yet, Dalton Schultz has officially been franchise tagged by the boys, which means he will be getting at least a one-year deal worth $10.9 million. And I guess you could just start there, huh? Whether you think that is a wise decision in a salary cap league or not, I will tell you that my gut tells me that this is a scenario where they're not tagging him to have him play on the tag and then leave. This is my gut, and I'll show you why in a second. I feel like this is a thing where they're going to get a long-term deal done with Dalton Schultz to be the tight end for the next two, three, four years. Because carrying an $11 million cap hit for Dalton Schultz right now, I think makes some of the things that they would like to do troubling. Here's why. So what you are looking at, is the Dallas Cowboys salary cap, the top paid players right now. Uh, They are currently $23.6 million over the cap. So some of these things that you see, this is from overthecap.com. It's an awesome site where you can look at potential roster moves and do whatever you want with any team, right? So the Cowboys have already exercised on the restructure thing here. They're going to save $15 million against the cap with Dak Prescott. And they're going to restructure Zach Martin to get that $7 million there. So that's 22. The Cowboys are still a million dollars over the cap with Schultz being tagged. And at the moment, all their pending free agents, you couldn't sign because you're a million dollars over the cap. Amari Cooper is going to be released, I think. Pretty sure. Pretty darn sure. Amari Cooper is going to be released at $16 million. So, by doing that, now you're $15 million under the cap, and you need to bring back Randy Gregory. I believe they're going to bring back Michael Gallup, and I believe they should be, and I am interested in, bringing back J. Ron Curse. So, does $15 million get me all of that plus my rookie uh, draft pool? No, sure doesn't. Uh, and there's other things they could do, but right now I think... I would look for the Cowboys to get a long-term deal done with Dalton Schultz, where his cap hit instead of $11 million in year one is more like six. Uh, And that's probably where they are. Now, you may debate in the comments if it is a wise decision to franchise tag Dalton Schultz or to give him a long-term contract, because I've said it before, he's a good player. And I'll never, ever hold it against the player who gets paid. Uh, Good for him. Good dude. Hope he plays well. To me, that's the sort of player that you try to replace in a draft or in a free agency crop that this year has a bunch of starting tight ends that could probably be had for less. But this is why sports are complicated and why my doing sports radio, I just started to get really annoyed with it because you're supposed to have all these like hard opinions. I would rather just present all of it and be like, oh, I think I believe this way. Or like, I think I would rather sign a starting tight end in free agency for four or five million bucks and draft a guy and go about it that way, I think. But now we have to figure out, what about the people in the building? Does Is Dak campaigning for Dalton Schultz? And if he is, does that change your perception of what they are doing in terms of keeping the guys that he wants to? Is Dak campaigning for Michael Gallup? And is that why we're on the cusp of him getting a long-term deal done? And if so, is that something that you think should be happening or not, right? So there's just tons that goes into this, but I think Dalton Schultz will be a long-term deal. And there's smart people that I know that disagree, that think they'll play it on the tag and they'll draft a tight end and they'll move on from him a year from now. So we'll see. But that's your news of the day. Dalton Schultz, franchise tagged, Cowboys with that done, Dak restructured, Zach Martin restructured. They are still a uh, million dollars over, so be ready. I would imagine Amari Cooper is going to be bringing more money to the Cowboys by being released from the team, and then we'll see where they go. We'll do lots of talk about this tonight, of course, uh, the Jeff Cavanaugh Show right here on this channel which you can also find on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and all those different things. We'll rock that bad boy tonight at 7 o'clock Central, as well as talking about the NFL Combine, Cowboys Draft, and all sorts of different things. You may 
leave a question in the comments on this video about what you'd like to hear tonight. You may leave in the comments what you think about Dalton Schultz being franchise tagged. And I'll also say this. If you're a big proponent of I hate that they have to or are going to, I guess they don't have to, you could flip all sorts of switches and set yourself up for long-term failure if you wanted to keep Amari Cooper. But I would say this about the Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott is an over $18 million cap hit this year. Over $18 million. What if you had that to spend, but you don't? And again, not the player's fault. Zeke Elliott and his agent did an awesome job of holding out. The Cowboys folded, gave him everything they wanted. Then not only that, the Cowboys restructured the Zeke deal to push money back to sign other players before the extension even kicked in. So if you really would like to keep Amari Cooper and you don't like where they are right now, your front office currently has a running back who is probably the second best running back on your team. And his salary cap hit is over twice, not over twice, around twice what the franchise tag amount for a running back would be. So yeah, you're paying double the franchise tag for a running back that you can't get rid of that's not your best running back. That is not good by the front office. And we all knew it at the, at the time that they signed it. Should have just told the dude, we'll see you when you get here. Not fold it up like a cheap tent, which is what the Cowboys do every time in negotiations. They think they're going to win the negotiations, and they lose it every single time. That's your front office. All right, leave in the comments that you love me. And remember to be locked in tonight, 7 o'clock. We'll go live right here on the Jeff Cavanaugh Show. Bring your questions in the chat. And uh, remember, you have no idea what anybody's going through, so be cool to everyone. I love you. Bye.